Hello there, everyone. It's Tess Whitehurst. So today, this week, or where, whenever you happen to be watching this video, the message for you is about beginning with boldness. So it just so happens that I drew this card for this week and to inform this video, again, it is relevant to you whenever you happen to be watching, but I drew from my Oracle of Portals deck, which looks like this and is very beautiful. Um, I drew the card Imagination. So this woman in the card is painting a canvas and from that canvas, light is shining and butterflies are flying. I drew this card not too long ago. So if you watch my videos weekly, you may remember it recently. But this week, I love that it came to us during the week of April Fool's Day, which I think is wonderful. So many of us that are interested in tarot are reclaiming or claiming that holiday as a day to celebrate the fool of the tarot. So the, the reason why these seem connected to me is because when I read the description in the guidebook that I wrote for this Oracle deck, what stood out to me was this idea of what can you imagine? What can you dream? and then begin it. Go ahead and begin it. Put one foot in front of the other to start creating it. Now, the reason that has to do with the Fool, the Fool is, as you may know, card number zero, not one, but zero in the tarot. And I just love that too about it. So it's because it's all possibilities. It's an open field of possibility. The fool is walking along the edge of a cliff in many of the pictures, certainly in the traditional one with a dog. And he's just bold, not worrying about falling off the edge of the cliff, not worrying about where he's going, just going just beginning with boldness. And so the message for us, I mean, I just really want to say, what do you want to create? Begin creating it. Really begin. I mean, you can take some time to plan for sure, but don't take so much time planning that you don't ever begin. And, uh, you know, if you feel like you might be worried about beginning because you're worried that you won't do it right or don't won't do it well enough or will fail the message of the fool is begin anyway uh, because that it's like you certainly will fail if you don't begin and even if you you know s s fail so-called fail uh, you still succeed because you're learning and you're trying. You're learning as you go. Maybe you're learning you don't like that thing or maybe you're learning how to do it better or maybe you're succeeding wonderfully in all ways. I mean, you don't know, but if you don't try, you'll feel stuck. Those of us who are drawn to the magical spiritual path, we are creative people. I mean, I believe everyone's creative, but we're, you know, we're really feeling that creativity in this lifetime if we're drawn to the magical spiritual path. We feel that impulse. We feel that whimsy, that joy, that expansion. So if we ignore our creative urges, impulses, if we, or not necessarily ignore them, but don't act on them, we can feel, we will for sure feel down, stuck, maybe even depressed. So begin with boldness and with joy and with, uh, you know, feeling like it's okay to fail. Uh, I wanted to mention, so this does feel appropriate to me because I am starting a new book. I'm, I have been starting working on a new book and I'm just about to get ready on uh, uh, writing a new Oracle deck also. And at the beginning of projects, even still, so there was a time when I wrote a book and I had never written a book before ever. And that was my first book, Magical Housekeeping. Um, but now I have written a good number of books and still I feel, when I feel excited about, excited enough about a topic to write about it, I also feel intimidated because I'm like, I really want to do a good job and I'm worried I won't. Um, so it still comes up. It's like, I feel like it's, it's kind of like with love relationships. It's like the more you care about someone, the more stressed out you get, but also the more drawn you are toward that person. And then, you know, if in many cases, the worry, the stress, the vulnerability, it's like they can be windows into expansion and healing and 
self-love and self-compassion so let it all be a journey like this is it's something that I've I continue to work with as far as yeah I feel intimidated yes I feel worried that I might not be able to express myself as fully as completely as I want and you know help people as deeply as I want to with this particular topic and I'm gonna try anyway. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna learn as I go. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna put one foot in front of the other. So really, if you're watching, anytime you're watching this, this is a message to begin to try. So sometimes like if you're like, wow, I would really like to write a book or I would like to finish my book or you know, any other project that really just takes actual doing to do, one thing you can do is you can set a timer. You can decide this is where I'm going to do it and this is how long I'm going to do it. And it could be like 30 minutes a day. It could be 15 minutes a day. It could be five minutes a day. But five minutes a day is better than no minutes a day, right? So if you set the timer and you're like, I'm just going to do stuff. This is how I wrote my first book. I was like, I'm going to set the timer for 90 minutes, five days a week, and I'm just going to write. And I can write anything I want, but I have to keep writing. To keep writing something I can throw it away at the end of the day but something has to get onto the page while during these 90 minutes in a very short time after that I had an entire book written and I had never written a book before so things like this work with yourself find what works find where when how much time you have it but listen to what you really want to do and let yourself start to move through it and let yourself learn as you go and let yourself do it imperfectly let yourself fail even because if you're doing it you're not failing. It's like, I talk about this with meditation. It's like, if you're sitting there, <laughs> you did it, that's it. You know, like during meditation, you might wanna notice your breath, bring your awareness back to your breath. But if you think of the success as just doing it, not like doing it well, <laughs> then you are more likely to develop the habit, which is really the structure you need in order to do anything you wanna do. So that's your message for this week is be bold. Let your imagination lead you toward the creative projects you want to pursue and then boldly take steps toward those projects. So this is from my Oracle of Portals. Speaking of projects, my new Oracle deck, the Queen Mab Oracle is coming out very soon. It looks like it should be in the United States in July. So keep an eye out for that. There should be a link nearby wherever you're watching this. Thanks again for watching. Sending lots of love and see you soon.